Hey everybody, it's time for Nancy Drew. And final scene time, we'll put the slide in here. Or this slide. Uh, it's like over... Here it is, right here. Cool. Oh, no, 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 no. Keep it there. So hopefully this thing will reveal something really, really amazing. Or wait, we gotta turn this on, don't we? What? Uh-oh. The power just blew. Well, that's not cool. Something's missing here. Yeah, power is missing here. Alright, so we gotta figure out how to turn the power back on. How do we do that? Is there like a breaker thing or like a... Oh, here. Here, here, here. Okay. It's locked. It's still locked. How do you get in that? Can we use the hair? It's locked. We can't? What? This? It's locked. Oh, you've got to be kidding. It's locked. So this is also locked, or is that just one big hot spot? I think it's just one big hot spot. So I can't even play with any of that stuff either. Okay, so in order to use this, I'm guessing that we're going to have to open that up. So, yeah, I don't know where we can find a key that would work, unless this works. It's not working. Huh. So, that almost seems to suggest that this is the exact kind of key that we need. Because the other ones didn't do anything. It's locked. Yeah. It's not working. So maybe we do have to make that key in a very specific way. But what would that be? Oh no. I hope we didn't miss something earlier. So what is the point of this? I'm still wondering what the, the whole deal with that is. And we didn't miss anything there. Okay. Well, it's a good thing Joseph made that key machine work, because it seems like we need that in order for this whole case to be wrapped up, if my hunch is correct. And, oh, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. The projector care thing is here. Maybe there's some information here about this I missed. Number four four one nine six. There was a key here. I know, but what is that? And that's not this key, because that's not the same shape, so There was a key here. Oh, so is the key just somewhere else? Am I missing it? I just find it interesting that Nancy says that. I I can't help but wonder if that envelope thing is laying somewhere, maybe on Joseph's desk or somewhere. That looks like a tea bag. That's not a key envelope thing. We can still play with this, but I don't know why. It doesn't seem to be here either. Because it would make sense that Joseph would have the key in here. Like, I can't imagine him taking it somewhere else unless he really wanted to hide it from people. Doesn't seem like it's on this shelfy thing. Okay, so I can only conclude that we're just missing something really, really crucial here. Unless... Hang on a sec. Maybe we need to understand more about how the key machine works. Because maybe the key machine key can be used to duplicate whatever that other key was, right? Maybe that's how you do this. Let's go back here again. Oh, so that doesn't actually do anything. I need a coin. Oh man. Wait, where did we get the coin originally? Was it from the jazz thing? Alright, we're going to have to do this again. Ooh. 
Whoops. There we go. There we are. And nothing. Okay. So I hope I didn't just ruin the whole game. I I hope I didn't make the game unwinnable. Nancy, you've got to find out what's on that slide. I'll talk to Joseph and see if he knows what the... We can't wait for Joseph. He's probably roaming around saying goodbye to each and every doorknob. I heard they're about to start clearing out the building. You've got to hurry. Nicholas, I don't think you... I'll cover for you when the police come in. This is it, Nancy. Go! Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't know what to do here. I want to look at this slide, but I can't. Can I call for help? Let's call Bess and George. Man, I thought we had this thing in the bag here. Hello, it's me again. Hi, Nancy. Any developments? Oh, we can talk to them about this. I spoke to Sherman Trout at the Library of Congress. He said he'll search Houdini's letters for some indication of what happened to Houdini's half of the theater. Go Sherman! But suppose he does find something. What good will the document do you in Washington, D.C.? Oh, um, he said he'll send it to me on a slide. But how are you going to decipher the writing on a tiny frame of film? It's a movie theater, remember, Beth? One of those places where they project small images onto a big screen? Oh, yeah. Except the projector is broken. Broken? I think the bulb blew when I was using it earlier. Sounds like you need to give yourself a crash course in projector repair. I know, I tried doing that, but we need a hint. Ladies, I need a hint. Isn't it about time to put your suspects through another round of questioning? We did that, though. Okay, you two. I'll talk to you soon. Good luck. Be careful. Oh, man. We don't have our key. I don't know what to do here, guys. I... yeah. I really hope... I don't think we're on a time limit. Charmstrong. <laughs> I'm assuming Nick Nicholas did that, right? Alright, let's... Let's see if anybody back here has anything to say. I'm gonna suspect that I do, I'm just missing some object that we could have picked up and... Oh, Simone is gone. Is there anything new in here? New and incriminating? Doesn't seem like it. I just want to make sure I can mouse over everything here. Anything new in her bag? Okay, that's not helping. Oh yeah, we still have this thing where we could enter a code. Huh. Yeah, we haven't solved that mystery yet. It's a pretty nice bag, too. Alright. Yeah, maybe there are a few more loose ends to tie up than I was expecting. That goes back onto the stage. This is the creaky section. Brady's gone. Yeah, I I don't know what to do. I really do not know what to do here. Does Brady have anything new in his drawer? He's got the book. Okay. So... It looks like we can't do anything more here. So maybe all the tools we need for the projector are where the projector is. Because I don't think we missed anything in the basement, did we? I still don't know where this key goes. That's one of the big mysteries that we still haven't solved yet. And I'm, right now, I'm trying to remember if we saw something with a key that we couldn't open earlier, but I don't remember seeing anything with a key. Which is the problem. Is there like a... So it is only four characters. 
Huh. I need a coin. I know. Can we use something that's not a coin but kind of is? I need a coin. No. They're literalists when it comes to coins. Okay, we gotta think here. I really do like how this game is, you know, putting on the time pressure even though it technically doesn't seem to exist. It's probably gonna exist like in the last part. It's locked. So th it's this locked. doesn't work. This it's thing locked. doesn't work. It's locked. Okay. Let me just make sure there's nothing over here that I'd miss while reading about the projector repair. So this is a diagram of it. Okay. I don't think we need to do this whole toothbrush thing. It's got to do with this. Clayton. It just seems strange that this this thing is There was a key here. Yeah, I know. It's like why would that be mentioned? That's what's really strange about it. Why would there be a key mentioned in that section there? I still don't know what the purpose of that is. And I think it's a bulb, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's something else. Please tell me I'm just missing something in this room. That would be amazing right now. There's nothing in the newspaper. There's nothing over here, is there, like, in the... Nope. Okay. Something's missing here. Yeah, I know. Alright, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna look I up... Should switch the power off. Oh, whoops. I'm gonna look up what we need to do next. I'll be right back. Everybody, I think I know what we need to do here now. So, as it turns out... Um, we were missing something earlier when we were snooping through Brady's bag. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not a big fan of when something this small has to be found, especially when it's tucked away so well. But th it is what it is here, I guess. Let's go over and check it out. Someone just honked their car horn out in the apartment parking lot outside my window. Okay, so we go in here. Brady's gone, still, but we can look through his bag. And it turns out, there is a pencil here. Now normally, I would think that this is innocuous, which I did, but apparently you need it. Because, you know, you could also look through this notebook, and I thought that the notebook and the pencil were all one hotspot, but you can see here that they're not. So, yeah, that's kind of a little, little mean, I think, but oh well. And what you're supposed to do is you can't find the key envelope, as we were trying to a little while ago. But it's, I think what you need to do is you need to use the pencil to basically draw out where the indentation of the key used to be. Sort of like what we were um, reading about in the Magician book. I guess it's not quite the same thing, because we're not using fire on it, but uh, we can do this. Alright, so let's do this. And yes, you do need to use the key machine to pull this off. And apparently you don't need to do another coin, uh, or find another coin, which is, you know, a relief. Okay, there we go. So that pattern is what we need. And thankfully I've already got the answer to this, so that'll help. I gotta admit, this is a very clever puzzle, but I'm not a big fan of how it hinges on finding that that pencil in the backpack. I almost wish that you could just pick up the pencil somewhere else instead of in there. But oh well. So let's go to the key machine. Whoops, I did not mean to go that far. Turn around again. There you go. 
We deposited our old key, so now we can just make a new one. And I believe the correct answer is S I V and O. This kind of reminds me of the key machine from Quern, almost. Except there are only five options for what you could put on it. There we go. So that should be a... Oh, I see. So you would put two sets of initials normally on the, uh, the key. Well, thankfully, this projector takes a key that can be made with a key machine. Which is very convenient. Alright, so let's hope this works. Aha! Here we go. Okay, officers, this is our final sweep. Ooh. In a matter of minutes, this building will be nothing but a pile of rubble. I'm so close. I just need a few more minutes. Okay, so this is the blueprints, I guess. Someone hid them there. Wait, what did that just do? Oh, this is what we need to replace. Okay. There we are. I think we've we've got this. All right, hopefully. Well, if it isn't the SLPD's favorite nosy detective. Right this way, Miss Drew, you can still get a front row seat for the demolition. What? What I do wrong? I thought Nicholas was going to protect us. Okay, officers, this is our final sweep. In a matter of minutes, this building will be nothing but a pile of rubble. Is there like a radio in here that's making that sound? Okay, can we get out of this room? Well, if it isn't the oh. SLPD's favorite nosy detective. Right this way, Miss Drew, you can still get a front row seat for the demolition. Huh, so what is it that we're supposed to do here? Okay, officers, this is our final sweep. In a matter of minutes, this building will be nothing but a pile of rubble. Where is that coming from? Is that over here? Well, if it isn't the no! SLPD's favorite nosy detective. Right this way, Miss Drew, you can still get a front row seat for the demolition. I really don't like Ramsey. Okay, officers, this is our final sweep. In a matter of minutes, this building will be nothing but a pile of rubble. Okay, can we send a message using this? I'm curious to know if this really is timed or if it gets triggered if we walk away from this. Because right now I'm just standing here and nothing's happening. Is there something else in here that we can use to contact the police? Okay, I think I did that correctly because I can't pick it up anymore. Well, if it isn't the SLPD's favorite nosy detective, huh? Right this way, Miss Drew, you can still get a front row seat for the demolition. So that time I couldn't even move. So maybe it's it is timed. Okay, I I really don't want to keep doing this, but. Okay, officers, this is our final sweep. In a matter of minutes, this building will be nothing but a pile of rubble. Okay, let's do this again. Wasting time. Okay, maybe we can at least get this going. No! Well, if it isn't the SLPD's favorite nosy <sighs> Right this way, Miss Drew, you can still get a front row seat for the demolition. Are we okay, not supposed to pick that up? In a matter of minutes, this building will be nothing but a pile of rubble. Can we just Can we move over there? No. Well, if it isn't the SLPD's favorite All right, guys, I I'm going to look up how to deal with this because this is getting annoying now. Seat for the demolition. I'm sorry. I I don't want to have to deal with this here again. So I'll be right All right, everyone. So what appears to be the solution to this is that we can't escape, right? So I think what we need to do is we need to hide inside the closets. That seems to be what the hints I'm looking at are indicating. So let's do that real quickly. Okay, so we go in here. There we go. See anything, Dino? All clear in here, Sarge. Okay, good. They're gone. All right. So now 
Let's look at, first of all, let's replace that bulb. It's locked. Oh, wait, we have to do this again. Alright, so let's replace the bulb real quick. And we'll put in our new bulb. Perfect. Alright, first let's view the slide that we got from Sherman. That's the first one we found. So let's see what we got here. No, 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 no. I want to back off, back away. Okay. There you go. Hmm. A woman magician. Interesting. Okay, well, at least we got that info. So now, let's look at the blueprints that we found. If I can zoom back in. Can I zoom back into the... Here we go. Okay, whoops. There we go. Whoa. Really? Did that just happen? Uh oh, what is this? Testing. Testing. One, two, three, testing. Is this thing on? Hello? Okay, so Joseph has a tape player in here. Can I do anything? Testing. Testing. One, two, three, testing. Is this thing on? Hello? What's the point of this tape player, though? There it is. We need this. Voice swap? Wait a minute. Can I play with this? Now this is super incriminating. Can I bring out the tape player? I don't think I can. Okay, well let me just leave this be then. How can I get out of here? I want to zoom out. How do I zoom out? There we go. That was a really strange way to do that. Alright, so I need to find out where to put this screw thing that fell off. That knob. Yes. There we go. Let's do this again. Okay. Another secret passageway. Wait, where? Royal Palladium Ice Depository Access? So wait, it's from here? What? So is this the secret passageway? Hidden switch. Okay, so somehow it's from here. So this is a this is a cross section of this. And somewhere in here it looks like through the secret closet, or the, the secret closet, the normal closet, we can get somewhere? Okay, we're going to have to find this. Can we take the slide with us? We can, alright. Well, hey, Nancy, whoa! I've been looking for you. Oh my goodness, that, oh man, that just scared me half to death. Oh, what for? I've decided I need to get organized, Nancy. Tomorrow I'm really going to straighten up in here. Wait, tomorrow? But Joseph, there isn't going to be any tomorrow. Not for this theater, anyway. I think a fresh coat of paint would really cheer things up, don't you? Joseph, come on, man. We know it's you. I know it's you, Joseph. But why? Were you trying to buy some time so the Historical Society could declare the theater a landmark or something? Do you think the premiere will sell out? Snap out of it. Just tell me where Maya is. Don't tell him she's here, Nancy. I will take her away and knock down the theater. They're gonna knock it down anyway. Please, we don't have much time. Don't tell him, Nancy. All right. Let's find that passage. Oh, whoa, we got a countdown clock here now. Okay, uh... Where is this thing? 
locked in. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Ah, here we go. Okay. So that's the switch. Did that open up? A oh boy. Nothing in here still. Okay, it's somewhere else then. It's not through that door. Oh, here we go. Right here. I this. must have the key somewhere in my bag of tricks. Is it this key? Is it finally time to use this key? I must have the key somewhere in my bag of tricks. Oh my goodness, where is it? This one? I must have the key somewhere in my bag of tricks. This? I must have the no? key somewhere in my bag of tricks. What are we supposed to do here? I must have the key somewhere in my bag of tricks. I must have the key oh somewhere my goodness. in my bag of tricks. It's not this key. I must have the key somewhere in my bag of tricks. You have got to be kidding. We were so close. What is this? It's locked. Maybe the key is behind this locked thing. Aha! Oh no. Okay, we've got so many keys to use here. And we have to shut that every time. Oh my goodness. Did that work? It worked! Okay, this place looks super creepy. Not so fast, detective. Oh, come on. Joseph, please let me pass. I can't let you do this, Nancy. Can we use you? I'm warning you. I still got a trick or two up my sleeve. We're going down in a blaze of glory. No, we're not. Joseph, you can go down in a blaze of glory if you want, but Maya and I are not coming with you. You've cracked your last case. Uh, where's that flash paper? Joseph, this is far from over. Now step aside. It's all over now. We've still got time for a grand finale here, Joseph. I never meant for it to turn out this way. Uh, where is it? There you go. My light. Perfect. Wait, what did that just do? Yay! I still can hardly believe that Joseph, sweet old Joseph, was Maya's kidnapper. He says he planned to kidnap Brady with the idea that Simone could use her Hollywood connections to save the theater. But when Maya entered the dressing room, he panicked and grabbed her instead. Plan B was to stall the demolition long enough for the Historical Society to declare the building an official landmark. I guess he's been at the Royal Palladium for so long, he just couldn't imagine his life without it. Wow. But, desperation aside, poor Joseph wasn't cut out for a life of crime, and pretty soon things were spinning out of his control. Simone's publicity stunts didn't help. At least he was courteous and kind to Maya through the whole thing. Her testimony should help him in court. The good news is that the Royal Palladium is Weird, still wacky standing. world. Once he heard that Nicholas would inherit his grandmother Louisa's 50% of the theater, <laughs> Brady decided he'd better find another site for Planet Tinseltown. In order to make amends for things, and because he needed some good publicity, <laughs> like this. Brady donated his half of the theater to the St. Louis Historical Society. Together with Haddit, they should have this place restored <laughs> to its original here. glory in no time. Not such a happy ending for Simone, I'm afraid. She received an official reprimand from the National Press Corps for her stunt with the wreath. Well, that's good. Still, knowing Simone, she'll be back at the top of her game in no time. So, here ends the longest three days of my life. The premiere of Vanishing Destiny is back on. But I think this detective is going to wait for it to come out on videotape. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. Videotape? Man, this was an old game. Oh. Did I just skip the credits accidentally? Let's run the credits. There you go. So that is the end of Nancy Drew, the final scene. Game number five in the Nancy Drew series. Overall, I really liked this game a lot. Um, my main issues with it are kind of minor. They mainly have to do with the way the game interface works as far as looking through things or find, excuse me, finding certain things. There were a couple of points where I thought the location of certain things was a little bit unfair and we didn't really get help from Bess and George until later on, which was a little strange. I don't know if maybe I missed something there, but 
At the end of the day, I really enjoyed what this game did, and just how it experimented with a different format compared to the other games in the Nancy Drew series. We started off with quite a, uh, a crazy opening with the kidnapping and the crazy phone call and all that stuff, which I really enjoyed. And then the rest of the game was very linear in nature. Now, obviously, there's a lot of stuff that you can discover at any point, but I did appreciate the fact that, you know, you did have a certain series of events that happened. Obviously, uh, that did lend itself more toward having to discover certain things before others, but I think overall, this actually did go pretty well, much more so than I thought, and wait a minute, testing is accredited to testing, testing, one, two, three. <laughs> oh, that's a nice little reference. Um... I really enjoyed the nice little um, allusions to old theaters and all the Harry Houdini stuff. That was really neat. Um, the characters in this game were okay. I, th I think I liked more how they cast suspicion on the characters much more than the um, actual characters themselves. I especially liked the fact that all of them had a potential happy ending waiting for them. It wasn't just you know one person who didn't have it that was obviously the suspect. And I did appreciate that the culprit was someone who was rather, uh, wait a minute, treasure in the royal tower, this isn't that game. Uh, I appreciate the fact that the culprit was someone that was rather nice, you know, misguided, but certainly not a mean individual. Still, though, it uh, was a little bit unnerving hearing him speak over the loudspeaker with the disguised voice and all that. But anyway, overall, good game. Really, really enjoyed a lot. And in any case, I will catch you in the next Nancy Drew game, Secret of the Scarlet Hand, which we saw a little reference to in that tabloid there at the very end of the game. So yeah, I'll see you then. Take care and I will catch you on the flip side.